Welcome to What's New with AWS. I'm Jeff Barr. I've got some great launches to share with you today. First up, version two of EC2 launch is now available. You might be wondering what this is, and I actually had the same question. Turns out it's a service that comes pre-installed on Windows AMIs. It performs a whole bunch of useful tasks during startup, stop, and restart. You can control it by a config file or by a GUI, and here's some more it can do. Set the computer name, extend the boot volume, set up the administrator account, start the SSM service, optimize ENA, enable SSH, enable jumbo network frames, prepare the instance for imaging, set the DNS suffix list, control the wallpaper details, and even initialize the attached volumes. This is all super helpful. I'm actually just a tiny bit embarrassed. I didn't already know about this. It's available pre-installed on the latest Windows Server AMIs. It's available for download, and it's also installable from SSM distributor. To learn a whole lot more, you can simply read the docs. Next up, the porting assistance for .NET is now available. This helps you to move your .NET framework code over to .NET Core. Some of the benefits are a path to benefit from innovation and open source, the potential to improve both scaling performance and your licensing spend. It's going to reduce the manual effort of porting. And here's what it does. It analyzes your code and your package dependencies finds incompatibilities in both API usage and package usage, and then it suggests replacements for both. It's powered by a suggestion engine, and this spans solutions that might contain a multitude of your projects. To get started, you simply open it up, you turn it loose on your code. In return, you get a portability score, a detailed assessment, a reference graph, detailed information on your dependencies, and even a walkthrough of the necessary changes. You can learn more, you can see this in action in Steve's blog post. Finally, let me tell you about a launch that combines two important parts of AWS, Spot Instances and AWS Marketplace. You can now use these features together and save up to 90% on your EC2 instance costs when you launch products from the marketplace. This is appropriate for applications that are spot aware and that can deal with termination by checkpointing and later resuming. This includes things like data analysis, batch jobs, background processing, and testing. You can learn a lot more by reading the what's new. That's what we've got for this week. We love your feedback. We always look forward to it. You can send us an email, tweet at me, or you can leave a comment on the video. Would love it if you subscribe to the channel, click the bell for notifications. Thanks for watching, and we shall see you again soon.